Oh, now, I already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man. Before I start my video, bro, y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, yeah, make sure you hit that bell notification of eyes. So anytime I drop a video, you'll be notified. Hey, South Rocket, you can hop on. We can kick it and we can vibe. So one day I'm cool. This is when I first get introduced to blowing down on that gas, you hit me? Because everything you go through in life is rules and regulations. I don't care what it is. It's rules and regulations to everything that you do in life, you feel me? So I didn't fuck around and got cool with my partners or whatever, you know. I've been cool with these niggas, you feel me? This is step one into understanding where you play your role in, 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 in the whole situation, alright? So they gonna ask me, say, bro, go up to the store and get some reloads. What? Go to the store and get real man. Who you think I am, the store man, bro? Who you who you think I am, the, the runner to go to the store to get the rellos? I figured out real quick that's a role you do not want to have in the group. See, 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 it's certain dudes who come around and you the store man. You you the dude who they know you do not buy your sack. I and then real quick you gonna figure out. You know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, you don't know who to plug. You don't know who the middleman. You don't know who the hustler. You don't know, goddamn me, who the bum at. You don't know none of this when you first get off into smoking that gas. You just come around because these are your partners and you want to smoke with them. You feel me? So I, fi I, 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 I figured it out real quick. Because the other dude came around and they like, hey, bitch, go to the store, you feel me? And he like, all right, bro, hell yeah, bro, hell yeah. So he didn't went to the store. And when he go to the store, they talking about this man. Like, man, that nigga, that nigga, they always come around begging and shit, bro. And they always come around big. Now, nah, why I be sending them to the store, you feel me? That's why I be. Now, mind y'all, they just asked me this. So I'm sitting back in the cut, like, listening like a mother, you feel me? Like, nah, bro, why be sending it to the store, bro? He always come around begging and shit. He don't, he don't nail by his own gag, you feel me? So I'm going to send him up to the store, make sure he get real old. Then I'm going to make sure he give me the goddamn hot chips, you know what I'm saying, with that Fago, probably like some Skittles or Honey Bun or something, you feel me? Nah, because, like, he always come around, he always want to come around and smoke the gag, bro. Like, that, that just ain't cool, bro. So he gonna be the store man anytime somebody. Hey, you need some? Hey, P, you need some? Hell yeah, yeah. Let me get a uh. Let me get a uh. Say, Tiny, give me some sunflower seeds, a bag of chips, and then she give me a sprite. You know that sprite hit different when you first open it. You feel me? And that bit be ooh. You can't just drink it all. You gotta sip it a little bit. Hey, bro, somebody call that nigga up, tell that nigga get peace. Woo, 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 woo. That's the, that was the type of vibes, right? So I'm sitting back like, damn, y'all had literally just at me to go to the store. So you were trying to put me in that man position, you feel me? Now, when folk come back, I had already, I, I'm now I'm paying attention like, okay, you the store dude, that's not the position that you really want to be in. The dude who go to the store, right? So, I'm noticing real quick he a begging type, you feel me? Cause he come eat. Boy, I, hey boy, I ain't gonna lie, boy. When I came around, boy, I had smelt that gas, boy. Don't nobody in the, can't nobody in the city say they got better gas than you, boy. Oh, you smoke better, you hit better, you smell better, you look better. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they be over here faking on you like that. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, yeah, bro, that shit be crazy. So, hey, you got all the snacks and shit, bro. The drinks and and the rillos and shit. You got everything? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, huh? Here you go right here, bro. Yeah, and I was just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I can smoke with y'all, bro. Man, I ain't got no money on me, you feel me? I'm gonna I'm, I'm get you back on payday on Friday, you feel me? Then you know, she, I probably, I probably fuck around and buy me like a quarter. You know what I mean? I probably, I probably fuck around and buy me like a little quarter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then you know. Man, hey, bro, you think, like, you could, man, spot me like a tray five, bro, to, like, Friday, you feel me? And then I'm going a, I'm to a give you the money for the tray five, and I'm going to still goddamn shop for the quarter, right? That's the begging me. So I'm sitting there peeping game on it, right? One thing about a begging dude is, bro, they probably smoke, like, one or two, one or two sticks with you, you feel me? And then after that, you got to go. Right, so I'm learning these type of things, you feel me? So, 
as as I'm peeping game on it, we all blowing down. And I'm realizing, like, when you start smoking with somebody, that's when you can really get to know somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, the people who want to get to know you, they're going to be the ones asking the questions. And you so blind to the fact that you just going to be goddamn me randomly saying any and everything. But you being honest while you doing it, though. You feel me? So, they blowing down with him and everything, you feel me? And they just running his pockets. Like, say, bro, like, where you work at, bro? Man, I, I, man, I be over here, you know what I'm saying, at the Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? They got me on the grill. I, I be chefing it up. Then I be, I mean, if, hey, bro, anytime y'all want to come to the Wendy's, bro, man, just holler at me, you feel me? I'll hook y'all up, you know what I'm saying? You come through the window, I'll hook you up, you know what I'm saying? You want to throw me like a gram or two or something? Then, hell yeah, bro, you ain't, you ain't got to pay for nothing, bro. Oh, for real, man, what, what, oh, when did you work at, man, I, down here? Yo, right, right down the street, man, hell yeah, boy, I'll hook you up, boy. Man, I'm, I'm the manager when I'm in it because I work night shift. But when I'm in there, I'm the manager, bro. Don't nobody say nothing to me, bro. I hook y'all up with everything. What you want? Some cookies? You want a goddamn me double stack, triple stack? Bro, I even put the little, I even put the little presser bun on that bit. Man, y'all like bacon? Man, I throw you a bacon later and everything. You could just slide me like, you know what I'm saying? Like a gram or two through the window. That kind of like how you could pay for it. You throw like the gram through the window and everything. You feel me? So I'm just sitting back peeping game on. I'm like, okay, yeah, see that begging that nigga. You feel me? Like that crazy because, you know what I'm saying? I see how this going. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We get done smoking. They, they, they hit him with a little story. But like, you know what I'm saying? They finna go do something. So he already knowing, like, all right, bro, all right, bro. Yo, yo, man, I appreciate, bro, showing me love like that, bro. I appreciate showing me love like that. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So he peel out. Mm, when he peel out, now mind y'all, I'm cooler with these dudes than what he was. He was just a store man, a bummer, and they woo, woo, you feel me? And we not, like, I'm not grown. I'm still young, you feel me? These dudes just older than me, right? So, he peel out, and then they get the run into the bottom, man. That nigga lame as fuck, bro. That nigga lame as fuck, bro, man. And you feel me? Like, nah, bro. Because, like, every time he come over here, bro, he always got a story about how he going to do something on Friday, you feel me? And then Friday come, and then he don't never, he don't never buy what he said he going to buy. He just always pay off his little debt. I'm like, oh, okay, I see. So, 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 so he get the tray five. You feel me? And they gave him the tray five. They put him in the deck. Gave him the tray five, right? So then, as I'm, as they talking, they like, man, I ain't even get that nigga no tray five, bro. I'm like, oh shit, wait a minute, y'all ain't give him the tray five, man. Nah, no, Brian took a little nug out that bit. Took a couple nugs out that bit. You feel me? And we had smoke his gas, and then I gave him the sack. So he don't even know that we smoked his gas out the sack, you feel me? And then gave him the sack. And he thought it was a tray five because cause I made it look all fluffy in the bag and whatever. I made it look a little bigger than what it was, you feel me? And yeah, that's how, that how we running it. That how, you know what I'm saying? So as they telling me this, I'm picturing in my head, I'm like, okay, so y'all some shice dad niggas because you, you just straight up took some out that man's sack. And then smoked it with him, gave him the sack, told him he had to go. Now you about the yeah with the yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's a that's a cold get down. That's a cold get. So now I'm learning the game, right? So now I'm learning the game. As I'm learning the game, right? I'm realizing real quick, damn, like, cause I don't really be buying my. I need to start buying my own sack, cause I don't want nobody to think like. I'm him, right? So I started buying my sack. I started gradually like buying my sacks, you feel me? Go get the quarter, then turn to a half, then it turn to, you know what I'm saying, the zip. So I'm starting to buy my own shit, right? But I'm still remembering what moves was already played on Stoneman. Right? Like the fact that you will go somewhere and if they don't know you, they taking it out the bag. They, they, they taking some out your bag, right? And so it was times where, like, I didn't got finesse like that. You feel me? I done fucked around and got a sack. Went to my partner house. He like, hey, B, you got a scale? I'm like, no. You feel me? I'm new to the game. I ain't got no scale. I ain't selling no weight. He like, huh, let me see your sack. Boop, put that bit on the scale. He like, 
Yeah, they ain't, they ain't give you what you was supposed to get. So I'm like, no. He like, yeah, like, yeah, like, they ain't, they ain't give you what you was supposed to get, Kim folks. So, I mean, shit. I'm like, okay, that's a bet. That's a bet. He was like, that's just the game, though, you feel me? You got to just charge that to the game. So I'm like, damn, all right, well, shit, all right. So then, next thing I know, my partner who had set that bit on the scale, Right, one day he like, hey, bro, take me to goddamn me Hollywood, you feel me? Well, really, really, what happened was he asked me, like, hey, bro, you know somebody who, yeah, with the, yeah, I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. He like, man, where they at? I'm like, damn, Hollywood. He like, well, take me to Hollywood to go get the sack. I'm like, bet. So he, you know what I'm saying? We go over there, and Kim folk wanted to half, right? You don't know what a half is? Hey, it's just, it's just gram amounts. All right, it's just gram amounts. So he wanted a half. So I'm like, all right, bet I got you on that with him. Boop. So we go over there to go get the half. Now, in my mind, I'm not really peeping game on why he just wanted a half. Because he could have got way more. You feel me? He was getting he was getting bowls from his peoples, right? So he just wanted a half. I'm like, okay, you just want to have and shit like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't saying I mean, you want the 13 that's that's just you, you know what I'm saying? you could have got the 28 if you wanted the 28 but then i don't know how you, you know what I'm saying so we just get the 13 you know but i know you're gonna smoke with me so you feel me so i go over to get the get the half right i get the half now now the dual house who i want to go get the half from you feel me me and him was cordial but but the big homie in the house i knew him because that was my brother that was my homeboy brother you feel me? So, boop, I get the half. If I come in, four immediately weighed up on the scale. Boom. He like, say, bro, I'm four short. Right? He mean he four grams short. Three and a half, four grams short. He like, nah, hell nah. So, he he go to try to get out the car. Like, he finna go in the house and say something to him. So, I like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Nah, you sit down. You, you gonna get us in a situation we don't want to be in. Let me go in there. And let me take it. He said, you show? I said, bro, I got this, bro. So I go off in there, big wound. I don't even talk to the dude who set me up. Because when I went in there, I'm just posted up at the door. You feel me? I'm just, I'm just at the door. Just. I'm just at the door cooling, right? So as I'm at the door cooling, I'm peeping game on everybody. But I know my homeboy brother in the back so when i come in this time out who is it hey bro it's key what's up hey man open up the door real quick they open up the door what's happening i say say bro what's up such it i said loud so he can hear me so he come out he like hey boy what wrong you good kim folk i'm like nah man i'm full short i'm full short on this right here he said you full short i said hell yeah i'm full short he said man let me see boo he put it on the heat. you show if why he full short why, hey man, why, why my kinfolk fall short? And like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know why. Who sacked him up? Folk, folk did right here. He, he, you know how motherfuckers be now. Everybody snitching on okay. Shit, folk the one that had sacked him up over there, bro. I don't know. I was just over here playing 2K. I'm just over here playing 2K, kinfolk. So he like, man, watch out real quick. So he end up throwing extra in the bag. But then he would lie. He put the foe in, right? Then what he do though? He had goddamn me the little extra. He took that bit right out the bag. He weighed it. He all right. They go to thirteen right there. He said, "You see it?" I said, "Yeah, I see it." He said, "All right, huh?" Mm, boom. Then he had grabbed another bag. He was like, "This for your inconvenience." Put me like a little tray five in that bit. You feel me? Ah. <laughs> Then he had put like some little rat around that bitch. He was like, this is where it ain't gonna smell while you in the car with him. So he don't know you got that tray five. I'm like, bitch, I mm -mm -mm, took that bit in my sock. You feel me? I had took that bit in my sock. When I took that bit in my sock, it would it would go time, bro. I gotta go. I gotta get my kid real quick. So it would go time, you feel me? I'm like, bitch, that's showing love, bro. So I get off in the car with him. When I get off in the car with him, he like, he boot put that bit right back on the skate. He said, oh yeah, and he put a, he was like, oh yeah, and he put an extra gram in that bit too. So I'm like, yup, 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 not really, but yup. So then, bro, I, uh, we peel, I go to the cribbo. 
So now, at my mind, I'm like, ooh, them niggas took, them niggas took some out the sack. That's a cold get down, though. In my mind, I'm thinking, like, I could finesse the game like that. Like, now nah, can everybody be always? So I run it down to the dude who they tried to take the foe from, right? So I'm like, hey, bro, let me ask you something. He said, what's up? I say, man, you you be serving, right? You know what I'm saying? He like, yeah. He said, like, yeah, I be I be doing me a little bit. I say, when you when you be serving, do you be taking out the bag? He looked at me and he started laughing. He said, man, Key, you know that's just how the game go, though. You feel me? He say, when you when 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 you greener than a golf course, when you greener than a pool table, you don't really know. So yeah, I'm gonna take out your bag. He say, but if I mess with you though. Nah, I'm going to throw extra in your bag to make sure you come back and shop with me. He said, that's just how the game go. So, so I'm like, well, man, lace my boots, right? Lace my boots. If you don't know what lace your boots is, all that really is is just putting you on game. Lace, lacing your boots. I say, man, well, lace my boots up real quick so I know how to got damn me shake and bake Ricky Bobby through this shit. You feel me? He like, you really trying to be on? I'm like, I mean, shit, yeah, like, I'm seeing... The little money get moved through, you feel me? At the time, like, I was never no dope boy, though. I was never no dope boy. My whole objective was, right, one, I'm just trying to get extra money in my pocket. Two, I'm trying to have extra so that way, like, I ain't, whatever I get, I'm not smoking out of there. But when you, when you come and buy, I'm grabbing out of it. And I'm serving it to you, and I and and I'm smoking at the same time. That was my whole little motto or the whole little thing, you feel me? But then, like, like as time go on, I realized real quick, you can't get high on your own supply. It don't work like that. It should never work like that. You feel me? That was later on in the game where I got that little knowledge. You feel me? So I'm like, okay. And then he like, look, he was like, look, it what you do. Whenever they come through, you feel me? He was like, first of all, never do it at your crib. I said, okay. He said, whenever they come through and they ask for what they ask, peep game on. He was like, you got to peep game on if the nigga got a scale or not. He said, you would know if he got a scale or not. He said, because his demeanor, how he is, how it just, just how he is, bro. You have to peep people's demeanor and see how they is. He said, you could tell a motherfucker who real green, you feel me, versus somebody who didn't been in the streets. Right? I'm like, okay. Okay, so then he give me the signs on how I should peep game on these dudes. Right? So I'm like, okay, that does make sense. Because when you say it like that, you feel me, like, I'm understanding on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like, then look. Then he like, then look, then what you do, you feel me, then what you do. He say, look. When, 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 whenever you get to serving, he was like, whenever you get to serving, folk, he was like, he was like, advertise it, like, always have some rolled up, so that way, like, you could, you could hit it, and you could pass it to him, right, you already, you didn't already took out the sack, what you was gonna take out the sack, I'm like, right, 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 he was like, you never, he said, you never, Weigh it up right in front of them. You always make sure it's already sacked up. So that way you already took out what you wanted to take out. Right? That makes sense. That makes sense. Then he like when you when you blowing down with them, don't blow the whole thing down with them. He said, just let them hit it a couple times. And then you hit it with my family line. Like, I just wanted you to, you know what I'm saying, taste what the product is. You know what I'm saying? Get you a little, get you a little taste or whatever so you know what you're buying. Right? I'm like, okay, okay, then he then he get a call. So he gets the call and then it's a dude, you feel me? Now he was like, peep how he be talking, peep how he be talking. So folk get on the phone. Man, what up, man? Now this dude was a white dude, right? He say, and oh, but oh boy who served him was white too though. He said, man, what up, man? Hey, bro, uh, you know it's payday and whatever, so you know I just got paid or whatever, man. I'm trying to come through, man, and I'm trying to score a zip with you, man. Hey, you all, what kind of flavors you got over there? So my partner like, man, yeah, I got I got this, I got this, but I got some shit that's exclusive. Exclusive? Man, what? Oh, shit, okay, hey, hey, give me about, give me about 20, 30 minutes, man, and, and I'm going to be over there, and, 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 hey, but I'm bringing my homeboy, too, you know, and I think he wants some, too. Hey, well, hey, what you want, man? 
hey, bro, see if he got a half. Hey, he, he he's asking if you got a half that he can uh buy. Yeah, hey, tell him, yeah, tell him I got a half, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can pull up, you feel me? But when you pull up, you know what I'm saying? Meet me at the Valero on the corner, such and such and such. All right, man, we're going to be there in about uh, 20 minutes. All right, about, about 20 minutes. All right, click. So then... I'm like, okay, so you see how he was how he was excited and shit. He said, that's how you know, bro, when they be green, cause they be too excited about everything. He said, a real, he said, a real motherfucker, when they be in the game and shit, they ain't excited like that. He said, bro, they already knowing what time it is. They knowing what you got. You feel me? Like they ain't asking no questions. They gonna ask you, bro, like off the rip, say, bro, you got boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, Nate. And then boom, that's it. Hey, bro, getting about 30 click. And they gonna get off the phone. He said, it's gonna be real quick. A motherfucker ain't trying. He said, when a motherfucker really doing something, they ain't trying to be on the phone long, Key. I'm like, all right, all right. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. And then he said, then he go another thing, though. He said, he said, huh, sack this up real quick. Now, when he say, hey, I, 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 hold on. Now, this my partner. I've been knowing for my, hold on, bro. Like, you ain't finna have me as your little dude, but he like, nah, bro. If I was gonna have you at the do boy you would know it but you wouldn't know it i said so what in this situation right now i could be the do boy and i know it and he started laughing he was like man you know i owe you the long way bro man huh bro just sack it up real quick my nigga you need to learn anyway so i'm like mm -hmm. he said you need to learn how to eyeball some shit i said all right bro so i sack it up boop put on the scale right i like i said what i said folk wanted to zip right he said yeah i said huh they go to 28 now, folk wanted a half. He said, yeah, I said, all right, huh? They go to 13. So then he like, he like, yeah. Yeah. So then he do some abracadabra ass shit. He didn't pull some out of both bags. Woof. And then he put it back on the scale. <laughs> so when he put it back on the scale, it don't even really look like he took nothing out the bag. But on the scale, you can tell he didn't took some out the bag. So I'm like, ooh, boy, you cold with it. Because it don't even look like you just, yeah. He like, I know. He said, I know. I said, boy, you cold and fuck with it. But I said, all right, well. I said, all right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said another thing. You heard how they said they're going to be there in 20 minutes. I said, yo. He said, don't ever. He said, listen to me, kid. He said, what you need to do here, bro, you need to beat them there. And don't ever make it. He said, when you beat them there, though, don't let them know you there. Don't let them know you there for like five minutes. He said, you need to watch them. See what they do. You see what I'm saying? See who, because there's going to be somebody who go in the store, key. You need to watch who go into the store. Watch what he come out with. Watch the other dude for like five minutes. Then you check him and be like, hey, I'm here, but I'm in the back. He said, never park in the front. I always go to the side and the back. I'm like, all right. So then well, we, we was already there. We seen them pull up. He said, there they go right there. So we just sitting there. He said, watch. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. He said, his, his homeboy going to be the one to go into the store and get everything. Because the other dude who called me for the zip going to feel like he entitled. Like he a big man. But he ain't really nothing but just a little peon. And I'm like, okay, okay. Hey, what's a peon? I'm young, y'all. Hey, what's a peon? He said, you ain't never been in jail? I said, nah. He said, oh, man, that's just somebody who ain't shit. Just somebody who ain't shit, bro. A little peon ass nigga, you feel me? That little peon ass. So I'm like, okay, peon, peon. All right, all right, all right. That kind of sound like my name, bro. I feel a little disrespected. I'm Joseph with him. He's like, man, you funny as fuck, key boy. Nah, chill real quick. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So we wait five minutes. So uh, we wait the five minutes. God damn it. He said, hey, bro, I'm here. Pull up in the back. So they pulled up to the back. He goes, man, what up, man, what up? Man, mm, mm, mm. Real quick, right? So he, we already blowing down. He, hey, bro, hit this real quick. That's that's the product right there, you feel? I just want you to. He hit with the science that he told me. I just want to let you, you know what I'm saying, so you can see what you're getting, whatever you feel. Man, that's that guy, but that's that pressure, you feel? He's so nonchalant about this shit, right? So folks like, oh, God, damn, boy, this shit here, ooh. See, that why I fuck with you, bro, like, you, Every time, bro, you the best in the city. You the best in the city. God damn. So when he passed him his sack and passed me homeboy, say he's a man. Here you go. Here go your homeboy. You feel me? Folk pass him back to stick and he passed it to me. When he passed it to me, so like I right, boot rolled up his window and peeled off. Right? The whole little conversation lasted like two minutes. 
It was that fast. Four came over there. He hit him with the line. Got down me. Let him hit the gas. Four, he even gave him the bag. Gave him the bag. Whoop. Then, all right, whoop. Peered out. Two minutes, right? So, we get back to the cribbo. Now, what we didn't pull it out the sack, we blowing down on, right? So, I'm like, damn, that crazy, bro. I, 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 see what you, I see what you're doing. I see how you did it. You know what I'm saying? Abracadabra looking at you. You feel me? I see you, boy. So we jolting off of it. And if you don't, if you're a new subscriber, you don't know what jolting means. Jolting, you know what I'm saying? It's it, we we really use it in Louisiana, you feel me? Jolting basically just mean like passing time. Right now, I know a lot of y'all probably heard like jolting because you was in jail and prison. You was on the jolts, right? Doing time, right? But we use jolting for different things. Like me and you could be joking on each other. I could be fine your ass up, right? We jolting right now just to pass time. You see what I'm saying? Anything, we'd be jolting off somebody in the road, passing by. We could be jolting off each other. We could be jolting with some females. We just jolting. We just passing time. Or some of him jolting and shit. And then, like, he was like, shit. He was like, shit. You ready? I'm like, what's up? He said, man, call up somebody, you know what I'm saying? Get you a little stain. He used to call them stains. I'm the stains, the clientele, folks. He said, get you a little stain or whatever. Build you up a little clientele. Then he say, shit. And then call him up. Let him know what you got. You know what I'm saying? He said, don't, don't, don't let him know how much you got. He don't ever do no shit like that. He said, just let him know you got some flavors. He said, tell him you got flavors. You know what I'm saying? And then if he interested, let that. Ask him, you know what I'm saying, how much he want. He said, when you, when you, when you dictate like that. If, if he pick up that phone and you be like, hey, but I got flavors and he don't hit you with no shit like, hey, if, all right, well, then let me get. He said, if he don't hit you with that, he green. If he talk you into letting him get whatever that you decide, you got you one. I said, all right. He said, don't ever start with nothing little. At, tell him, you tell him, hey, come by a zip. I'm like, all right. So I call up somebody. Hey, say, but I got some flavors. What? Key, you got flavors? Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Shit. Hey, but I got some flavors. Be you trying to buy like a zip or something? You got a zip? Man, you trying to buy a zip? Hell yeah, boy. Oh, man, give me by. Man, give me by. Two. Where you going to be at? Where you? Yeah, I'm, hey, hey, pull up at the Valero on such and such and such and such. You feel me? Pull up at the Valero, whatever. And then you say you're going to be about, what, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, bro, I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on the north right now, bro. All right, that's a bet. Well, let me know, you know what I mean? When you buy close or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we were off in the third. All right, that's a bet, bro. That's a bet, bro. All right, bet. Mm. And he say, see what I'm saying? He let you talk him into getting the zip. He said, man, man, green. He said, so what you going to do now? I see why you told me to sack up early. So I ain't no little dupe. I know I wasn't no dupe, boy, bitch. Huh, give me this shit. So I boop. I, I sack it up. 28.8. Okay, cool. Put that to the side. All right, yeah, that. Now, hey, now, how you did that little fluffy shit when you did like that? He, <laughs> you ain't ready for that. Give me the bag. So, he get the bag and he do his little abracadabra shit. Mm. Put that bit back on the skin. Uh, you got to teach me that, man. He didn't stop trying to hold secrets, bro. Holding secret ass nigga. He said, man, you just ain't ready for that right now. I said, all right, all right, all right. So, I fucked around and we get the shit. When we wait, we blowing down, you feel me? What we had, uh, we blowing down on the shit that the dude, he, he first served up, right? We blowing down on that shit, you feel me? So then he, we as we doing it, he said, hey, roll up another one. He had taught me how to roll and everything. He's like, hey, roll up another one, you feel me? So that way, remember what I told you? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, all right, bet. You remember what else I told you? I said, yeah, we beat them to the store. Then we wait five minutes, watch them, whatever. Whoop. He said, bet. That's, all right, you listen. I said, yeah, yeah. So we... About 20, 20, 30 minutes past week. Pull up to the store, set, boom, boom, boom. And I see folk pull up. I'm like, there you go right there, bro. Like, ah, yeah, just sit back and watch that nigga. Just sit back and watch that nigga. You feel me? I said, all right, cool, cool, cool. Folk go in the store. He obviously went in there, got some Rillos, got, got damn me some snacks, some drink, and he put gas in his car. So as we sitting there, he said, man, go on over here and let that nigga know you here, you feel me? But tell him come on the passenger side so you can be the one to talk to him. I said, all right, bet. 
hey, bro, uh, I'm in the back. Pull up to the back. He like, all right, bet. So, boop, he pulled up to, hey, 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 pull up on the passenger side. All right, bet, bet, bet. He pulled up to the passenger side. For looking at me. He did just like, nah. I'm blowing down, right? Had the sack right in my lap. I'm like, what's happening, B? Like, man, what's up, boy? I boot, I passed it to him off the rib. I huh? That's just a little something you feel me. So you know, you know what I'm saying? What you really getting yourself into, you know what I'm saying? You feel a product or whatever you feel me. He like, oh hell yeah, boy. So as he doing, as he he boop, he hand me the money. He hand me the money for the zip, right? Boop. So right then and now, as he passing it back, I pass him the side. I say, all right, let me know if you need something else. Boop. Kenfo pulled off. Just like Kenfo pulled off. Just like that, right? So no questions asked, though. No question was asked, no nothing, right? He say, I see you, boy, I see you, boy, I see you, boy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So now I'm like, ooh, boy, I done fucked around and found a little jug, bitch. Like, anytime somebody come trying to shot with me, and if I got to, because you got to think, at this time, he putting me on, right? It ain't like I'm buying my own. You feel me? That come later when me and Chris had finesse. White boy Jacob, you feel me? If you don't know about that story, you're gonna have to go back, you feel me? Or if you don't know about this story, let me know in the comments and 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 I and I go over it. You feel me? So I wouldn't get my own second until me and Chris was finessing white boy Jacob with the money. You feel me? With the with the with you know what I'm saying? Cause we were telling him 225. We were telling white boy Jacob 225 for the zip. You see what I'm saying? Of the gas. Knowing damn well we wouldn't get it for 225. You see what I'm saying? So that's when I, I start putting that little plan together once folk kind of like lace my boots. So he was like, yeah, but he was like, look, you know what I'm saying? He was like, but be careful though, Key, because not everybody going to fall for that. And he was like, if 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 a motherfucker like be like, hey, bit my shit. He was like, hey, bit my shit was a little, a little light. Like, what's happening? He'd be like, always be like, damn, my fault, my fault, Kim Folk. I was probably in a rush or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I got you, though. I got you, though. Like, you, he was like, never, like, try to get aggressive with a nigga or whatever, you feel me, unless he get there. He was like, but, yeah, just let a nigga look like, damn, my fault, Kim Folk. I got you, though, you feel me? And then when, when you see, like, he on that type of time, bless him. So that way he know, like, oh, shit, he must really did forget because he had threw me, like, an extra three. You feel me? Like, that's just how the game go. That's how you know if you got you a goddamn me, a green motherfucker versus a motherfucker who ain't. He's like, be careful though, feel me? Because, yeah, I'm like, that's a bet, that's a bet, that's a bet. So I used to goddamn every time somebody was going to come shop, or every time somebody be like, Key, bro, you think you can give me some gas or whatever the case may be, I get it. Before, and this was before I started, like I said, this before I started serving, right? So I get the gas. And I take out the gas. You feel me? Me and me and my partner Chris, we always did that shit. We'll go get a nigga some gas, and then we'll take out the gas. And now we smoking on his gas. You feel me? Shiesty type shit. But look, man, we only ask for three things, man. God is knowledge and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now, man, I appreciate everybody who been rocking my videos, man. I appreciate everybody who just been tapped in, you feel me, to the kid. Um, I'm going to just keep grinding, keep, you know what I'm saying, keep doing me. Y'all always got to keep your eyes on the swivel, keep 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 your shit on, you know what I'm saying, make sure you always on your P's and your Q's, bro, um, because at the end of the day, you feel me, you might be that dude, you feel me, it might not be drugs, it could be something else, it could be a dude at your workplace, you feel me, be your old lady, be your old man, you feel me, be anybody, bro, who will really cross you out and snake you on some real shit, you feel me, all uh, because they know that you green, you feel me, you greener than the Xbox, you greener than the X on the Xbox, bitch, and they know that. So they're going to pull it on you, you feel me, at all times. So keep your head on the swivel. Make sure you're always on your P's and Q's, brand. Goddamn me. Yeah, for real, for real. Shit, I'm just keeping it a bean, dog.